Stop expecting people to support you. Stop expecting people to believe in you. You know, in this world, they don't even believe in God, bro. So what makes you think they about to believe in you? They hated Jesus. What makes you think they're not going to hate you, bro? Like, once you start getting these ideas through your head, you will start to realize the people that is meant to support you are always going to support you. The people that is meant to love you will always love you. The people that, you know what I'm saying, is on your team, you're going to find them. You're going to run into them. And it's up to you to cherish them, to, you know, to hold that bond dearly and to cultivate it into being um, a stronger relationship because it's, it's, it's a possibility that you can be the reason why people are not supporting you. You know, if you're not carrying yourself a certain way, if you're not being grateful, if you're not being humble, then you will see the real supporters are going to actually leave you and they're going to abandon you because you're draining them. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with that being said, stop expecting people to do anything for you. Nobody's obligated to do nothing for you. You know, you owe it all to yourself to get what you want done achieved. You know, um, yeah, uh, yeah, develop that higher level of, of EQ too. So, so you can, um, you could deal with situations better. You know, if somebody's not showing up for you the way you need them to, then just let it go, bro. Just let it go and go find go find what's real, you know? And not saying chase it, but it's out there, bro. What's, what's meant for you is out there. So go find that. Also let it find you too, you know? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Stop, stop expecting it though. Stop expecting things out of people, because people will let will literally lead you to your own demise. People will drive you crazy. People will, people will do certain things to you that make you question yourself, and you can't let that happen. You gotta be strong. You gotta be, you gotta be wise too. You know, don't. Don't put people in in a position to let you down. You know, see people for who they actually is, not who they say they are. Uh, you got to read through them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like x-ray vision. See, look look people in their eyes and see their souls, bro. Like this might sound like a, like some next level stuff, but in reality, it's, it's really the basics. It's common sense. You know what I'm saying? Stop feeding into the illusions that people... People always like to show up in a certain way, you know, that they want people to see them. They wear a mask, but in reality, they know who they are inside. And then if you could see that, you know, my hat off to you because, you know, so it's a lot of trickology going on. People trying to trick you into believing like certain illusions that's not even there for real. Like, bro, don't fall for that. And I'm not coming at y'all from like above y'all, I'm coming at y'all from experience. Bro. I was a victim to that. You know, I let people literally lie to me and literally lie in my face when I knew the truth, but I believed it because I gave them the benefit of the doubt. When in reality, bro, they showed it time and time again, they showed their hand and they didn't care. They didn't care about how I felt about it. They never cared. They never will care. So it's just, it's just you just gotta come to terms with that. You gotta come to terms with the truth. Once you accept the truth and stop living in denial, stop living in lies, stop letting people play in your face, bro, you will literally be a better person. You will literally be wiser. You will be smarter. You will put yourself in positions that is gonna help you and you will not put yourself in positions that is a detriment to you. Because if you continue to be around people that is literally lying to you and they don't have any love for you, and they want to just drain you and take away all your energy. If you allow that, you are your worst enemy, literally. You know what I'm saying? Stop blaming people and start taking accountability for your uh, for your situations. Because the moment you blame somebody, you're giving your power away. So if you go around, if you're the type of person that goes around complaining and blaming everybody, just know you are your worst enemy because you're giving your power away and you're 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 literally letting yourself 
be a slave to other people because how is somebody literally, how is somebody the reason for your life being the way it is? That, 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 that's, once you say that, you're basically saying they control you. They're controlling you and putting you in bad positions, right? So you have no control over yourself. So instead of blaming them, take back the control. And then you will see that the accountability is on you. The responsibility for your life is on your is on your hands. It's in your hands. The power's in your palms. The power is not in a, in the system's palms. It's not in the white man's palms. It's not in your your girlfriend's, your your wife's palms. It's not it's not in nobody's palms. It's not in your homies' palms. It's not in you know, people always blame like what are you blaming somebody else for? It's not in your job's palms. Like no. It's your decisions, it's your choices. Sometimes you will be in hard you will be in challenging positions that it's difficult to make the uh the right choice. But that just lets you know you have to improve your decision making skills. Because if you constantly keep making bad decisions when you are in challenging positions, then you have to improve on handling pressure. You gotta improve on, you know what I'm saying? You gotta improve on foreseeing challenges before they come so you can tackle them before they even appear in your life. You know what I'm saying? Cause really, when you think about it, only a certain amount of situations can really, really occur. So take some time to start planning, start writing stuff down, start seeing Start using your mind to see the future, basically. you bas That's basically what you do. You look, you look to see what situation you're in, what possibilities can occur, uh, when these occur, what are you gonna do? It's like you start playing chess with life versus you just letting life punch you and knock you down and you just laying there, bro. Like, how weak do you actually look? You letting life literally beat you up. You know what I'm saying? So definitely work on your strategy. Get get back to the drawing board. Start planning more. You know, start um, start imagining possible um, obstacles. Start using your imagination. You know, what are some possible obstacles that can occur? And then, you know, start fighting them obstacles before they even appear. Because once they appear, you already plan for it. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You know. Uh, really start tackling things before they even occur. That's really the name of the game, you know. That's uh, that's some definitely some sauce right there. Stay ahead of the game, you know, because the game is the game is definitely moving at crazy speed, you know, and it's gonna definitely catch you off guard if you if you ain't ready. So, you know, stop blaming people. Stop. Expecting stuff out of people stop just stop doing that type of stuff and take the power back because the power is yours Now like the video if that resonated with you hit that subscribe button because I'm definitely going Like I really got I really got some different plans now like I definitely got a direction that I want to uh, take the channel in and a lot of the people that is on this ride a lot of the people that is a part of this 500 um, subscribers. They know me for something else, but that's not the direction I'm going in anymore. So, you know, if you still on a ride, still on a journey, you know, make sure you stay because you're going to benefit. You're going to benefit. When I speak, I'm not just BSing. I'm speaking because it's an experience that I've already been through and I feel like you can learn from it. And I'm not forcing you to do anything. So if you feel like what I'm saying is not resonating with you, then don't take it. You know, just leave it. You know, probably not meant for you. But if you're expecting something else, like a lot of entertainment and stuff like that, then probably you probably want to unsubscribe the channel because there's a lot of entertainers out there that you can actually watch that's going to put on a clown show for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's no disrespect. You know, every circus need a clown. You know, and right now, social media is definitely looking like a circus show. 
depending on what side of social media you're on, you know, because you could choose to be on a, you know, the educational side, the side that's going to help you grow. There's a lot of people out here providing a lot of information. And then you got the other side of social media where it's just BS, you know, people frying their brain with useless information that's not going to help them get anywhere in life. And yeah. So definitely unsubscribe to this channel if you don't care about your life. If you don't wanna if you don't wanna um go further, you might as well just unsubscribe right now. But you know if you if you looking for if you looking for some uh looking for some content that's gonna help you, if you're looking for some food for thought, then this is the right channel, you found the right channel, hit that like button. And drop in the comment section below, create a thread, and um, engage with the Royalty Dreaming family. So, peace out.